Games are typically empowerment fantasies about external conflict, and we're putting you in the mind of, of someone who is a living, breathing person. And so the decisions you're making aren't about high score, it's not about avoiding a game over, it's literally about the soul of this character and wanting to preserve that and wanting to do what's right for Erica. I think if you're not familiar with games, the easiest way to pitch this would be to say it was like an interactive film, but we think it's, it kind of doesn't deserve to be like a subsidiary of like an existing sort of medium. It really feels like it's its own sort of thing between something like film and games. So we don't want to say too much right now about the story, but ultimately this is Erica's story and you are guiding it. And the heart of that story kickstarts with a traumatic childhood event, which haunts her until her adulthood. She's contacted by an old family friend who believes that in her mind somewhere is the key to the identity of a killer that's on the loose. But then what starts happening is that the killer comes into the picture as well and starts to contact Erica and then you're stuck between these two perspectives, these two sides of the same coin and not really knowing who is the one to trust. And the choices you make end up sort of creating a bias towards one or the other and ultimately these pile up to give you this sort of, this tough choice towards the climax of the game as to what you think the truth really is. Originally we designed it as a very solo intimate experience where it's just you and Erica and her world when we started playtesting it, we realized that people would sit on the sofa alongside their friends and they start getting into arguments about what's the right thing to do and they can just watch it without having to understand what the game mechanics are at all because the cinematic experience is so seamless it feels like something you just watch on TV. It really works as like a backseat gaming experience which is something I've, that's always been like an interesting subject to me. I've been watching you, Erica. Whether you're playing Erica or you're watching it almost passively and you're just in a sort of a social situation it generally feels like watching a Hollywood film with the same pace and the same production value and that sort of flow that you're, being, you're familiar with after like a hundred years of filmmaking what it allows you to do that a film doesn't is make you an active participant in that and that means you can feel emotions that you haven't felt when you're watching a film like guilt or shame or pride these things because you're involved with the decisions so the way it's structured is very much like a sort of a typical feature film. It's always moving forward, it's always seamless transitions, and you're pushing it forward with the words that you choose for Erica to speak. And she won't speak unless you choose for her to speak. It's not like you're only involved some of the time. You really are in control of this experience. You're interacting every like 15 to 20 seconds, which creates this like great gameplay flow. But we don't want it to just be about dialogue. It's also about touching the world. And so by using your smartphone and Playlink, you can do something like wiping condensation off of a window and peering through to the other side. Or just wiping a tear from somebody's cheek. There's even like sensitivity in this world, so like the speed that you do these things. If you open a door fast and makes too loud a creak, you'll see Erica react to the fact that maybe she's made too much noise and she should be quiet. It's about allowing your actions to be louder than words, essentially. So in film they say, don't say it, you've got to show it. So in games, it's, it's not just showing it, but it's allowing you to express it with the choices you make through touch. The thing that excites me mostly is that I really hope Erica is a star of something new because we had to throw out the rule book on how we develop games. What Erica's going to give us is a foundation for what could be endless amounts of stories for years to come.